Hey, what's up, Internet? This is a review for the Breville ESP8XL Espresso Maker. This was gifted to me, and I really like this machine. I'm going to show you how it works, and I'm going to show you kind of the pros and cons about it. It is a stainless steel design on the outside. As far as the heating element, from what I read online, it is covered, so I don't think it's metal, but I know that they have like a device in there so that the water isn't touching plastic. Um, however, the water storage here is plastic. You just pull it up here, and it is a plastic piece. Push that down, you wanna make sure it's a nice, clean fit. Some people will have leakage problems, probably because you're not pushing down hard on the piece here. Uh, but you fill that up with water, you're good there. I've turned on the machine that you can see the heating button is now off. That means that the water is hot, so whether you're gonna be steaming milk or you're gonna be brewing the coffee, it is now ready because the light is off and we have power on. Um, I'm gonna make a regular espresso uh, with grounds, but this, this machine does also take the pods. What happens is you could take out this little piece here. There's a little piece in here, and you can rotate it out with the pod. There's other filters for pods. Uh, just really quick, what, it, what the machine comes with is the machine as you see it, it comes with a cleaning tool which takes off the steaming uh, wand and you can clean it in there. You can also clean out the little holes here. There's a little pin that'll clean out the hole for the espresso. And then you get the um, container to steam the milk in. You get this which doubles up, triples up. It's a tool. As you can see, you have the holes there. It's a scoop for your coffee and it's also the tamper as well. So you do not need to buy a tamper if you buy this device. And then you get two uh, saucers and two espresso mugs. So let's go ahead and make an espresso and then I'll tell you what my pros and cons are of this machine. I usually put about two scoops of well-ground espresso in here. And the main thing I find is you don't want to overpack it. Many people just shove it down, and if you overpack, uh, the water isn't going to be able to get through. So I'm really lightly kind of twisting down on this, but not putting a lot of, of uh, impact. I like my coffee strong, so that's a lot. You can put a little less than that if you want. Now this is a manual machine, so what that means is there are some other machines that will time it for you. This one does not. Uh, what you want to do after you set that up is you put it on here. You line it up and you go ahead and you start it. And as you can hear, it's not too loud. And I'm counting to myself right now. It's usually 15 to 30 seconds, depending on the type of pool you like. Or I know you can also, I read online, you can also measure it. And depending on its weight, that's when you have a perfect cup. As you can see, it's just finishing up and the heating light is back on because it's heating. So if you want to do steam your milk after this, then uh, you want to wait till that light turns off again. I'm going to go ahead and put some milk in my cup here. Now, the, the so some cons about this machine, what I don't like, the first one is you can't, um, you can't fit a normal size mug under here. As you can see, it fits the little espresso cup, but even this mug, which is really small, it bear, like I have to like shove it underneath and right now it's, it's leaning up against the wand. But any bigger size cup here will not even fit under here. You can remove the, the tray and have it fit. But now you don't have a, you, you don't have a catch. This thing that catches the extra fluids is now not on the device. So that is an issue that a lot of people said, but that's pretty typical for a lot of espresso machines. And then as far as the milk wand works, now that it's heated, we'll try the wand. And what I like to do here is kind of flip, invert this. That way the wand stays inside the milk. Touch the outside, and until it gets hot to the touch, uh, that's when it's done. You can also use a thermometer if you want to be more accurate on this as well. So one of my complaints about this is I, I only filled it up to about there, and as you see, it's probably going to overflow. Uh, so that's my biggest complaint is that this machine, again, that because of the height of this machine, you know, you're very limited and have, you have to use small things like the small cup or the small device, which makes it messier because you're more likely to spill. But as you can see, nice, perfect pull on that, nice crema on the top, and that actually is pretty hot. So 
the two cons, the biggest cons of this machine are the, the fact that, like I said, with this device, I'm already filling out milk. So if you want to make like a latte or something with, or make two cappuccinos at a time for a guest, maybe, you know, you're going to have to probably do two separate steamings. You can't just steam once for enough milk for both. Uh, the other one is the distance between the, the, the grate here and then the actual uh, drip. Uh, is very is very short now the pros though are this is one of the most competitively priced machines out there for what you get as far as getting the the the, st the wand and the espresso machine so I think that's really where your value is if you have any questions please comment below I'm really good about answering your specific questions if you like the video, please like and subscribe, and uh, I'll, I'll post up some more videos. Thank you.